But Aldorf Sornet fulfilled many roles throughout the course of his long and productive life. He was equal parts Isa, Vana Isa, and Ivana Vana Isa to the respective members of his immediate family, myself included. He was a fisherman, an engineer, a gardener, a chess player, and a bridge player. Between the years of 1916 and 2015, he literally watched the world unfold before his very eyes. Despite witnessing nearly a century of change within the span of one lifetime, he never allowed the world to change him. Nevertheless, when faced with the challenge of having to learn to cook for himself at 80 years of age, he predictably rose to the occasion. Preparing handwritten grocery lists with military precision, he and I would faithfully go grocery shopping every other week with exact change always in hand. Even today, his grocery lists remain crystal clear in my memory. Rye bread, two loaves, large brown eggs, extra large, one dozen, pork hocks, and of course, Smarties. <laughs> when he was no longer able to accompany me on our shopping expeditions, I knew I could always count on his meticulous instructions to guide me down those seemingly endless grocery aisles with the utmost confidence. And while it is true that chocolate was his currency of choice, it can equally be said that kindness was his stock in trade. He always made sure that no birthday or Christmas was missed when it came to his two children, three grandchildren, and four great-grandchildren. Indeed, the greatest gift that he has given each and every member of his exponentially growing family is the gift of a better life in Canada than the one that he was forced to leave behind in Soviet-occupied Estonia during the Second World War. And for this gift, we are thankful beyond words. The world is a smaller place today than it was one week ago. Baldur's absence from the physical world leaves an immeasurable void, and the responsibility now falls in each and every one of us to fill the space that he has created for us to keep his memory alive. We will all remember him for what he meant to us, the fisherman, the engineer, the chess player. To the son of the, of the farmer from rural Estonia, I offer these final words. Nega mi svanaiza,